Hey guys, uh, if you know me, you know one thing I like to do is brain exercises. Look, I am uh, in my mid 40s, and as we age, our, our brain, see, look at that, our brain, blah, brain. As we age, our brain slows down. And even if you're watching this video and you're younger than me, and a lot of you are, um, <clears throat> brain exercises are still good. There are a lot of things that you can do to exercise your brain. And in this video, <clears throat> my friend Nick Davenport is going to show us a brain exercise or a brain game. Um, he's a guy who, uh, he's in Florida, I live in Texas, and he's got, uh, he's got these really great games. And, and he creates them, and, and they're ways to wake up your brain and kind of exercise your brain. So, uh, everybody, let's welcome Nick Davenport. What's up, guys? It's Nick Davenport, a.k.a. Mr. Mental Muscle. And I'm here with Ron today, and I'd like to thank him for letting me come on and show you some different drills from my company, Mind Body One, to help train the brain. Awesome, man. Glad to have you here. So what Nick is going to do is he is going to <clears throat> say the alphabet as a brain exercise. I don't know if you remember, but in one of my videos uh, last week, I had an exercise where you count to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then you count by twos to 20. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 20, 18, 16, 14, 12, 10, 8, 6, 5. Four, two. In other words, you're counting by twos to 20 and then counting by twos 20 to one. These are great brain exercises. Well, Nick is gonna do the same thing here, but he's gonna do it with the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. So Nick's gonna say the alphabet forwards and he's gonna say the alphabet backwards in an attempt as for a brain exercise. He has a timer, so if you do this, you're gonna need a timer as well. Take it away, Nick. Now, the drill I have today for you is the ABCs. Now, you're probably thinking, Nick, ABCs, that's something we did in kindergarten. But we're going to put a slight twist on it. You're going to say it forward, and then you're going to say it backwards as quickly as possible. So, it's not much to the directions. you got a timer. You're going to start it and go through it and be clear as possible to enunciate because, you know, when you're saying things fast, it may come out a little jumbled or muffled. So, go through it forward and backwards, time it, and see how fast you did. So, I'm going to give it a try right now. And uh, let me get my timer ready. So I'm gonna say ready, set, go. I'm gonna begin it, and then see how how I do. All right, ready, set, go. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R C V W X Y Z Z Y X W V U T S R Q P O N M L K J I H G F E D C B A. Uh, nine point nine five seconds. Wow, not bad, not bad. What? Are you kidding me? Oh my God! Nine seconds? That is insane. So basically you see, you have to do it fast as you can and make sure you do it clearly. If you mess up though, it's okay. Just correct the letter you are on and then say what should have been there. So if you mess up, don't stop altogether. Just correct yourself. But obviously that's gonna to add to your time. But the goal is to be as efficient as possible, smooth as possible, and quick as possible. And over time, you'll get better. Because when you're doing this drill, you're using something called working memory. I talk about this a lot because working memory deals with being able to hold information and store it in your short-term memory and then rearrange it to use it for other cases while simultaneously attending to a task. So when we're trying to say the alphabet backwards, we got to see that alphabet going the other way and try to place each letter in the proper place. Uh, I can say it forwards pretty fast, probably. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, H, K, L, B, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, uh, W, X, Y, Z, Z, Bob. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to need to practice this one. I'm going to need to practice this one. But that's why it's such a great brain exercise. If you can do it easy, then it's not really exercising your brain. You need to find things that are harder to do with your brain. That's how you wake up your brain. So, Nick. You can do that pretty easy. You can say A to Z and Z to A, pretty easy. What if we make this a little bit more difficult for you? What if we had a little object in front of you, like a, a button, and every time you said a vowel, A-E-I-O-U, you had to pause and hit that? What do you think about that, Nick? Well, let's say that 9.95 wasn't impressive to you. You want to take it up a notch. So we got another progression. So who remembers the vowels? I know I'm still going back to elementary. A, E, I, O, and U. 
sometimes Y, but we're not gonna use Y for this case. So what we're gonna do again is we're gonna say the alphabet forward and backwards, but every time I say a vowel, I'm gonna tap the red cone. My hand will be flat on the table, and every time I say the vowel, I'll tap the red cone while simultaneously saying the alphabet. Now, this makes you attend to now a motor task or movement while still saying the alphabet, so it kind of slows your brain's ability to think because it's more load on it. Imagine like more weights on a barbell when you're doing a workout, there's more load on your brain now. So the 995 is probably not gonna be attained, but my goal is to try to get as close as that 995 as possible doing this one. So I'm gonna give it another go. All right, ready, set. Go A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z, Z, Y, X, W, V, U, T, S, R, Q, P, O, N, N, M, L, K, J, I, H, G, F, E, D, C, B, A. 17.5 seconds, so a little bit slower, about 8 seconds slower, but the goal is, like I said, get them as close as possible because you have that disruption or that distraction trying to tend to win to hit this. So my attention has to go from saying the alphabet while simultaneously trying to make this happen. So there's a lot going on. Dude, that was impressive. So guys, we gotta try this. I want you to say the alphabet A to Z, forwards and backwards, time yourself, tell me what your score is, and then let's, let's do this thing too. But, Nick, let's be honest. You're still pretty good at that. What could we do? What could we do to make this even more difficult? <laughs> what could we do? So what you're gonna see is Nick is going to set down four colors. And he's gonna put these, he's gonna determine the order. In other words, if the order was just one, two, three, four, that's easy. That's not what he's gonna do. He's gonna make the order one, two, three, four. So he's gonna to have to hit them hit in this order. So that's even more difficult uh, because he scrambled up the order of these, of these buttons. So Nick now is gonna say the alphabet forwards and backwards and every time he says a vowel, he's gonna hit one of these buttons. But notice, he didn't put them in order. One, two, three, four, or red, yellow, green, blue, whatever. He put them in a scrambled order, and he assigns the order. But uh, Nick, let's see how you do with this challenge. But if that's still not getting you, if 17.5 wasn't good enough, then I got something for you to make it a little bit more challenging. All right, so now you see on the table, there's four cones, red, yellow, green, and blue. So I'm gonna do it, once again, say the alphabet forward, then backward, but I'm gonna touch these cones in an order, and I'm gonna use the order red, yellow, green, and blue. So now I have to tend to different tasks while still saying the alphabet, but it's more tasks now, so that load just got heavier. Now, once again, 17.5 was my last run. I may not be able to get it this time, but once again, I'm gonna get close as possible to that 17.5. The 995 is pretty much out of the picture because that was no load at all. We had a moderate load, now we have a, a large load. So I'm gonna give it a go one more time. All right, ready, set, go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z, Z, Y, X, W, V, U, T, S, R, Q, P, O, N, M, L, K, J, I H G F E D C B A. That took me 26.8 seconds. Bravo! Bravo! Good job, man. Good job. So you see, the load was higher and it slowed me down because I had to remember where to go, one make that movement so my brain wants to move, but I have to still think. And typically the brain doesn't like to think and move at the same time. So outside of that working memory aspect, you're actually teaching your brain to have to do with different tasks and stressors because when you're in like a stressful situation, your brain typically goes on one side. It's gonna move or it's gonna think. But sometimes in a very tight situation, you wanna do both. So by attending to all this, you're putting your brain on a immense load of pressure. Now obviously there's progression. Start off with just the ABCs regular, 
and then progress to something else like doing the vowel task, then you get better if you can do a multi uh, faceted task like this with the different colors. Now, if you notice, I was slowing down a lot because I have to shift back and forth. And also, I might have done some out of order, but the goal is to be able to do them in order and still say them in order to get your mind right. Now, like I said, I want to thank Ron again for having me on. Um, and we can find us on the website with more drills. We do a lot more training that involves mental, physical, and combines them both sometimes. We work with um, professional athletes, police, military, schools. Uh, any population you can think of, we have a drill for you. And that's at www.themb1.com. That's T-H-E-M-B numeral one dot com. So keep training your brain, guys. And remember... Get your mind right. So guys, I want, to, I want you to encourage to do stuff like this, to wake up your brain, to exercise your brain. Look, this, 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 your brain. I think we would all agree if we lost our brain's ability to function and remember and work, our quality of life would go down. If our, we can improve our brain's ability to function and work and memorize our quality of life is going to go up. So these are some great brain exercises. Do y'all remember this one from a couple weeks ago? We put our thumb up like this, we put our finger out like this, and we switch, 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 we switch. It's one of my favorites. So Nick Davenport, if you want to follow him on Instagram, Nick, how do they get a hold of you? find me on Instagram at Mr. Mental Muscle. Awesome. Well, guys, look, I hope you enjoyed these brain exercises. Uh, if you did, I do appreciate the likes. Comment below. If you try this out, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, all the way up to Z, and then Z to A, comment below. Tell me what your time is, and you don't have to beat Nick. You don't have to beat Nick, okay? He's a freak of nature, okay? He's really good at this. So, you give me your score, even if it's a lot slower than Nick's score, it doesn't matter. My score is slower than Nick's score. So comment below, tell me your score. Uh, if you like these videos, subscribe. Also, in the description, I have a lot of other videos on brain exercises. So read the description to this video, and in there I'll give some other videos with uh, other brain exercises. And finally, my last thought is this. Uh, I have a memory course. It's called Black Belt Memory. It teaches you how to improve your memory, memorize names, numbers, speeches, uh, decks of cards, whatever you want. Uh, you're going to want to get that course. You're going to want to get a Black Belt in Memory. Click the link down below. I have a free gift for you just for checking it out. And then, of course, you can get the program if you want. Guys, I will see you on the next video.